In this part of the routine of the day, we'll be focusing on the middle part of your day, so the time that you usually spend either at school or at work. So, uh, so we've covered in the previous video, we've covered the things that you do while you're at home and to leave to school or to work, you would say uh, voy a la escuela or al trabajo. So in the, the infinitive version is ir a, and then you, this is like a phrasal verb to go to, and um, then you state whether it's the school or work. Voy a la escuela, voy al trabajo. It's important to say here that trabajo is of masculine gender. It ends with an O, uh, so it is used with the article el. And again, this is a, um, a short preposition. So whenever you get in a situation, or most of the time, when you get in a situation where you have a short preposition that ends with a vowel, and then you would have to say another vowel in the article after that, you connect those two. So you, you would say, voy al trabajo. So, a más el al. Here you don't say al because you have a la escuela. So you don't have two vowels next to each other. But here you connect those two to avoid saying a and e next to each other. So, voy a la escuela, I go to school. Or, voy al trabajo, I go to work. Then you can say that your, um, your classes um, at, at school or your work starts at a certain point or at a certain time and then ends at a certain time. For that we use the word empezar, which means to begin, to start, and terminar, which means to end. So we can say mis clases empiezan a las nueve y terminan a las cuatro, which means my classes start at nine and end at four. Or you can uh, have a very similar sentence regarding your work. So, mi trabajo empieza a las ocho y termina a las cinco. My work starts at eight and ends at uh, five. So you just, again, into these blank parts, you just fill in any number from the numbers that we've covered previously. Again, I'll just repeat that if you want to say um, half past something, so 8.30, 7.30, 11.30, for example, let's say 11.30, uh, you say the number in Spanish, and this translates into y media. So, 11.30 would be once y media, or anything y media. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, while your classes or your work is going on, you usually talk to someone. So you can either talk to your friends, to your uh, classmates, or to your colleagues, which is hablar con amigos, friends, con compañeros de clase, classmates, con colegas, with colleagues. Again, hablar, we've covered, it is a regular verb, it is uh, the uh, like the verb I used as, as the main reference to all AR ending verbs. And the first person is hablo. Hablo con mis amigos, con mis compañeros de clase, con mis colegas. Then, uh, usually, while you're still out there, while, while you're still out at school or at work, you have lunch. And again, just as we had with eating breakfast, you can express eating lunch in two different ways. There's just one verb for that, which means, or which is almorzar. Or if you want to translate it word by word to eat lunch, we say comer almuerzo. But I'd, I'd say that most Spanish speaking people use just uh, the one, um, one verb to express the thing. So you can either say almuerzo, yo almuerzo, or como almuerzo. You can see that the first person of the verb is the same as the noun of the verb. So lunch, meaning the lunch, is el almuerzo, but also first person of eating lunch is yo almuerzo. So just not to get those confused. <clears throat> Again, you can just add uh, some food. We'll be covering food in some future lessons, but you can also use, if you want to um, make, make the sentence longer, you can use some of the, some of the new vocab words that we learned for breakfast. And then let's say that after your class, this is usually, this sentence will usually be used mostly by uh, people who still go to school, because usually once you finish school, some people tend to have some courses or some other classes um, focusing on, on their hobbies or in something that they like. So you can say that after you finish your, your, your classes, you can go to some other courses or classes, which is ir a cursos clases de, and you fill in the, the hobby or the thing that the classes are focused on. In the first person, uh, again, note that this is a completely irregular verb, ir becomes voy in the first person. So, voy a cursos or voy a clases de, which means I go to courses or I go to classes of, 
For example, baile, which means dance, or canto, which means singing. So voy a cursos de baile means I go to um, dancing classes. Voy a clases de canto means I go to singing classes. Again, you should be able to fill these in with some other words that we've covered um, in uh, in the hobbies part or in talking about yourself. Uh, or you can just say voy a cursos generally and you don't have to specify. Or for, for people who are at work, usually after when they eat lunch, they, still, they have still got some, left, some work to do left. So they say trabajo. Trabajar means to work. Trabajo, first person. Okay, so this is, this is all that I came up with uh, regarding the, the things that you might do in the middle portion of your day. And there will be some more vocab in the next video, which will focus on once you get back from school or work, what you do at home. So again, I'll just run quickly through these green parts. Ir a, go to, empezar, to begin, terminar, to end, hablar con, talk to or talk with, almorzar or comer almuerzo, to eat lunch, ir a, again, go to, trabajar, to work.